Well, today, uh, pretty excited. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I actually got this in the mail a couple days ago. I'm not going to act like I just got it. And I've actually already opened it. Uh, but I'm going to open it again. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, I got the new HTI thermal imaging camera. Um, really excited about this. Um, the specs were fantastic on this. Um, the price was right. It was four, almost $500, like 400 and something. Um, HTI thermal imaging camera. The resolution, I'm hoping it's on here. I knew it was like a lot more than, you know, I've got a Fluke camera, a couple of these. I've got a couple of um, Testo 875s, which I really like. They're all out in the field right now with my inspectors. But the specs on this were actually better <laughs> than all of those cameras. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, anyway, here's the box. It comes in the box like this. Um, you uh, open it up, obviously. Um, get it out. It has this little cool case. Um, it's going to be a little bit easier to carry. It has a little belt clip on there, which is kind of nice. It's obviously a lot, uh, a little bit smaller than, and granted, I got this fleet a couple of years ago um, in my testos. You know, it's, it's a lot bigger, um, you know, piece of equipment there. So I kind of like that. Um, it also comes with a, you know, your rechargeable cable, all a lot smaller. Um, and the little, um, uh, instruction book also comes with it. So, um, we're going to, you know, eventually test it out and everything, but, uh, you know, you can pull it out. Um, this is it, the HT, uh, 18, HTI, no, wait a minute, HT, it's HTI is on the box. It's HT18 thermal imaging camera. Another inspector told me about this, uh, Devin Morante, uh, Morante in Cal uh, Florida, down in Florida. And, uh, you know, so you turn it on, it's going to look like this. And we're obviously going to go check it out. Um, you have pretty nice uh, controls here, menu, select, enter. Um, I've got it on the uh, iron um, mode right now. Uh, one thing that I really like about it is it has uh, multiple points where the temperature is and uh, I think you can move those around, which is kind of nice because a lot of thermal cameras, it's just the one uh, there in the bullet point. Uh, so anyway, we'll check it out here shortly, um, but let's, let's read a couple of specs on it. I, I do like it. It's, it's a nice feel to it, a lot smaller but um, it's supposed to have a higher resolution than the other cameras I got that cost a lot more. Of course, I've had them for a couple of years now. So, you know, technology obviously gets better as time marches on. Um, according to the booklet, um, HTI Thermal Imaging Camera 18, um, let's see if we get some of the specs on it. Um, well, let's see, it's 22 by, uh, 220 by 160. Uh, this one I think is 120 by 120, and my Testos are uh, 120 by 160, I think. And you know, they were really expensive and top of the line a couple of years ago. But yeah, 220 by 160, uh, three, 300,000 pixels, uh, a lot of other specs. I mean, I could go through it. Um, I'm, I'm sure you can find it online. Um, it has uh, file formats, JPEG. Uh, USB micro, uh, USB 2.0, uh, power supplies, chargeable battery. Um, I'm thinking, does it have a memory card? We'll find that out. And by the end of this video, I'll be able to tell you that. Um, you know, it shows you the display key, the, key, the keypad. It's got all the different little specs. Um, cap. Micro USB. So it has a micro USB on the side. I wonder if it just takes the pictures and keeps them on the camera. I, honestly, I was looking a little earlier. I didn't see a place for a micro uh, USB card. Um, it may just put them on there and you just have to download them straight from the camera. Uh, I'm really thinking that's probably where it's gonna go. That's a little bit of a downer. I would like to have a, a card because um, I hate to have to download it straight from the I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I, I like having a card. It just makes life a little bit easier, I think. Um, well, let's see. Obviously, you can change the color modes. You know, you've got that rainbow color mode. You got black and white. And you got the iron. I prefer the iron. Um, 
and you know you can set the temperature you know i think normal setting is you know the range will be from the hottest to the coolest and everything in between but if you really want to micro analyze something you can uh, create a smaller uh, space of temperature there and it'll you know really micro analyze you know the temperature difference because obviously when you're doing a infrared you're looking for an anomaly uh, something that uh, is unusually cold or unusually hot for some reason. Um, so anyway, let's go check it out in the field. All right. Uh, well, we have uh, the camera that we're, we're uh, testing here, the uh, HI18, or I'm sorry, HT18, um, and my old trusty uh, Fluke here. So we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how they do. I'm in the iron mode. Now, uh, follow me over here. So the first thing I like to do as a test, I always like to do in a house is run hot water in uh, down the drain. I, I happen to know this is my house, so I know where it is. So I like to see, now hold on, this one has a manual focus, so let me focus it for a second. That is one really good thing about the, uh, the HT18 is it's an autofocus trying to get it, but you can clearly see that's where the drain lines coming down the wall. Um, I ran hot water for a few minutes, so I always like to know where that is and uh, tell the buyers, make sure you don't drive a nail there because if you drive a nail there and it actually happens, see where the toilet hole, uh, I mean the toilet <laughs> paper holder is, they drove a screw through the thing and it leaked. So anyway, so that's a side-by-side -side comparison. It actually is better. Um, I, I would have to give the uh, vote. I'm a little out of focus here. Let me see if I can get this thing focused. There we go. All right, so we're looking at, obviously, you know, we've got an air conditioner on. It's uh, coming out of the vent there. You can see uh, the windows. Obviously, it's going to be really hot up there at the light. Um, and it's showing you the actual temperature side by side. My Fluke 125 by 125. And the HT18 is uh, 160 by 320, I think. Um, so anyway, let's come in here. I want to do the foot test or the hand test. So basically what we're going to do is I'm just going to walk in here and then we're going to see how my foot heats up. Um, so you can see how hot my foot is. And now, you know, obviously if I take my foot away, can you see how it's a pretty good test? Actually, I'm going to give it to the, the, the new one that's uh, the less expensive one. It has a lot better resolution. All right, one last test here. We're gonna go into the room here. This is the bedroom and these are exterior walls. So we should be able to see um, the framing or, you know, it's the temperature of the framing. Um, Uh-oh, why is this saying auto shutdown? There goes my video. No, oh, you gotta be kidding me. It needs to be charged up. All right, as you can see, we have the side-by-side -side comparison um, on the wall here that's a, a wall facing the exterior. And you can see, actually, the HI is performing much better. See the studs there? Um, <clears throat> you can see, now. obviously, everybody who knows about uh, infrared, we're not actually seeing the stud, we're just seeing the temperature. Um, and obviously, they're gonna be a little bit different uh, where the studs are, and that's an exterior wall. So uh, this is my um, <clears throat> Fluke 125 by 125, and this is my HI uh, 120, no, I'm sorry, 160 by three something. <laughs> this camera was $2,500 a couple of years ago, and this one was uh, 400, almost $500. Um, you can obviously see, let's go side by side. That's, see if they're, oh, that's saying 78. Yeah, about, well, that's saying 83. Um, that's the ceiling. But anyway, one more time, we'll go back over here and look side by side what the studs are, where the studs are. And obviously, you know, everybody who knows about um, infrared knows we're looking for an anomaly. So, uh, last thing I'm going to say about this camera is it's a good buy. It's a good buy. Obviously, things get cheaper with time um, and technology gets better. But uh, I'm a real fan of this HTI um, HT18. Uh, you can get it for Four hundred, almost five hundred dollars, I think. Uh, another ins home inspector told me about it, so uh, I ordered it um, off Amazon, and uh, I think it's a really good, uh, really good deal. And it's uh, it's actually better than some of the cameras that I have. This has been Preston Sandler for Home Inspection Carolina. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.